Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The Bible declares in the Gospel of Matthew, the 16th chapter, I want to read in your hearing, verse 18. The Bible says, And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. So says the Lord, therefore, it's already done. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for, you know, protecting us. Thank you so much, Father God, for letting us know that, God, there is none that is greater than you. There is none that is stronger than you, Father God. You are the supreme God. You are the great I am. You are the one who's able to do exceedingly abundantly that which we can ever ask you or think. You are the one that says when the enemy comes in like a flood, uh, the spirit of the Lord will raise up the standard against him. Uh, you are the one that declared, Father God, behold, I give you the authority to trample over serpents, over demons, and over all the power of the enemy. And God, your word declares that nothing shall by any means hurt us. So bless you tonight, Father God, for all that you have done, all that you shall do. Thank you for the angels that encamp around this them that love the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving them charge over us. Thank you that no evil shall come nigh our dwelling, God. Thank you for all that you have done, Father God. Thank you that we can walk confidently, God, in the anointing that you have given us, knowing, God, that you are right there by our side. So let may your people know that tonight, Father God. May they know the power that has been given unto them, Father God. May they know know the protection that is theirs, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And may they know that no devil sent from hell, God, can stop what you are doing in their life. So I pray your protection over your people, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And bless, Father God, this word as it goes forth, Father. Let it fall on good ground, Father, and lead me, Father, by your spirit, so that your people would be edified, my Lord, and you would be glorified. So let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart, God, let it be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I pray and I ask these things in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. I just wanted to take a moment and come on and remind the people of God that we have a promise from God. We have a promise that, you know, it doesn't matter what powers come against us. It doesn't matter, hallelujah, what the enemy does. You know how he tries to, to send things in our pathway, how he tries to stop us. The word of the Lord has gone forth. And once that word has gone forth, hallelujah, into the atmosphere, hallelujah, that word is destined to accomplish what God has said it to do. That word is not going to return unto God void, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can stand on the promises of God, knowing that nothing can stop the church of God. Hallelujah. He says that the gates of Hades shall not prevail against them. They cannot stop what God has ordained. Hallelujah. They cannot stop what God has planned. They cannot stop what God has placed in order. So know that today and be encouraged, hallelujah, knowing that we serve a great God who is strong. We serve a God that is able to keep us. So go in the strength of the Lord. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world today. Know that the church shall prevail. Know that the church shall come out triumphant. When the dust settles, the church will still be standing. So go in that word. Go in that strength, hallelujah. Know that God is for you. So if God be for us, who can be against us? You know, I never want 
to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God everyone just wanted to take a moment and invite you to join me if you have been blessed by this video you can follow me on twitter you can follow me on youtube and you can follow me on google plus god bless you